Today, I decided to do a video on my pine tar soap. Um, the reason I decided for the pine tar soap is I, I watched maybe one or two, or found maybe one or two videos of making pine tar soap, and everybody's done it the cold process way. It's a very tricky soap to make in cold process. Um, it actually turns into soap on a stick instantly once you put the lye into it. So I decided I would start making it the hot process way. Um, I will get started. Bear with me. Like I said, this is my first soaping video. What I'm going to do first is add my colloidal oatmeal. I usually put a tablespoon into this batch. And so we'll get that blended up in there. I've already melted my oils and my pine tar. Right now I have my crock pot on low so I could melt the oils and the pine tar together. The pine tar is quite thick. Well, it's tar. It's like pouring syrup in something. So it is kind of messy. I also want you to know that when I mix up my lye, I do wear gloves. I don't have them on now. Um, Soap stings me a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me too much. However, I do have glasses on, safety glasses, because you never want to get lye in your eyes. All right, this is pre-strained lye. It also has a little bit of tussa silk in it. So I pre-strain my lye and then I put my tussa silk in there to dissolve. And you can probably, I don't know if you can see it, you can see tiny little strands still left in there. Um, <clears throat> now let's get this show on the road and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to trace. Actually, you can use, you don't even need the stick blender, but I'm going to speed this up. Look at that mode. See what I mean? <laughs> I said instant soap on a stick. Now, trying to get pretty soap out of that is darn near impossible. Whisk this a little bit more. But as you can see, you've got trace. The reason I make pine tar soap is because it's a very good seller for people with itchy skin problems. Um, I have customers that just love this soap. I don't scent it, there's no reason to because it smells like well pine tar. Um, it's not an unpleasant smell but it is a definite um, distinctive smell. Let me get this on here and I'm going to turn my crock pot to warm and let this cook. Um, 
Now the pine tar that I use in this is Stockholm pine tar. It's kill and burnt. It's supposed to be creosote free. Well, what I did was found a pine tar that actually is listed for soaps, medicinal purposes instead of just veterinary purposes. Um, I'll put a link at the bottom of the page here to um, show you where I get it. Well, I'm going to come back in a few minutes and that way you can see the progress of the soap. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I'm just going to show you what this looks like. It's been cooking for an hour. I have done the dreaded zap test, and, well, it's done. So says my tongue. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the video, but this contains 20% pine tar. And I guess you can use whatever oil combinations you want, but um, if you'd like to use 20% pine tar, what you do is put 20% in your soap calculator and then the rest your oils. <clears throat> I am about to mold this and there's going to be a lot of beating, so bear with me here. It's like plopping it in this mold. I absolutely love these, I guess it's a, a pipe. It molds hot process really, really well with limited bubbles and air pockets. I don't know if you can see that, but you see the gel? It's gelled. I had said earlier that, you know, I've got customers that swear by this. Um, pine tar actually is kind of an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory, and it really does help with skin problems that cause your skin to itch. I've had customers purchase this for themselves and even their pets. I do make a, a pet and dog soap which hopefully I'll get a video of doing that as well made with neem oil but this really helps with um, you know those itchy skin issues if it was let's say psoriasis um, some say it helps with dandruff it helps with uh, the uncomfortable itching caused from poison ivy. It does not cure anything, but it does help ease symptoms. Now, pine tar really isn't pleasant. My whole house right now smells like pine tar. Um, it's not a bad odor. It's it's real smoky. It's uh you can smell the pine in it, but you can also smell it's just really smoky smelling. Um, men tend to really enjoy it. Um, I've actually even had some men say that it's great soap to use when you're out hunting because it masks the the scent. 
plant people. I could see that. Now I've used it and uh, I don't really get a, uh, it's, it's not an unpleasant smell on your skin. It, it smells actually more like pine on your skin, not the tar. So. But, like I said, this is my first video, and I hope to do many more. I'm still playing around with this camera of my son's. He was supposed to be my cameraman, but as 15-year-olds are, they have other things to do that are more important than stand by their mom while they're making soap. So, I don't like to get the bits around the the crock pot there because they're, they get kind of dried out. get it really packed down well it is all packed in and there you can see it and as soon as it cools off it'll be ready to unmold and I can't wait for that video because I'll be using my brand new multi bar cutter that I just got this week and I'm so excited. I can't make enough soap to uh, cut. But there you are. There's my pine tar soap. And I should have, it should be ready tomorrow to cut. And I'll pull it out of the mold and I'll videotape that. Thank you for watching.